Thank you, Dr. Newman. Our keynote speaker is Howard Lim of How Creative. He is passionate about brand logis logistics and creation. Mr. Lim is an inventor, entrepreneur, and visionary known internationally as a thought leader and influencer. He has over 30 years of experience working in multiple industries and technologies. He has represented a vast array of Fortune 500 brands, including Apple, Honda, Disney, DreamWorks, and Acura, just to name a few. His work has been featured in many publications, including the Wall Street Journal and Los Angeles Times, and he has earned several awards for his work, including the Inpex Lifetime Achievement Award. The author of Authentic Branding, he regularly hosts seminars and workshops and has taught more than 75,000 entrepreneurs how to build differentiated brands that connect with customers intellectually and emotionally. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to Mr. Howard Lim. Thank you all. Good afternoon, graduates. <laughs> friends and family of graduates, and the esteemed members of the faculty. I'm happy and honored to be here today and want to congratulate the class of 2019. Well done. Give yourself a pen. <laughs> Earning a college degree is no mean feat and is something of which to be very proud of. First, I would like to acknowledge and thank Dr. Yerman Newman for having the vision, the values, and a mission to create a private nonprofit university that give those who are willing to do the work an equal opportunity, not merely to succeed in a workplace, but prosper in life. Each of us here today had the foresight and determination to go after your dreams of a college education which will go a long way in helping you go from surviving to thriving. Congratulations, your shiny new college degree has considerably upped your chances for success in a highly competitive and sometimes unpredictable job market. You are on your way to realize your full potential, your vision, your hopes, and your dreams. But know this, the best way to predict the future is to actually create it. In each of you, that starts today, or maybe tomorrow. <laughs> today is a reflection and a celebration. Before I go on, I should probably tell you a little bit about myself. As you heard, my name is Howard A. Lim, and I am a strategic planner and brand expert. I grew up of a family of nine children and had parents who only had only placed a high value on a good education, but also encouraged their children to follow their dreams. I was fortunate enough to find my calling when I was five years of age. Believe it or not, finger painting. <laughs> it was then it dawned on me that I was born to create from inspiration and to do it with passion. Finding my purpose early in life eventually led me to eight years of studies in multiple disciplines at Cal Poly's in San Luis Obispo and the Art Center of Design in Pasadena. In 1987, I founded my company, How Creative, where I helped companies from strategic planning and brand building. By blending business, marketing, and branding, I set out to bridge the gap between strong fundamentals of business and innovation to craft world-class brand identities that speak in the market for the greatest possible impact. Just like every one of us, each business has a signature story and purpose. And if we get it connected with the customer on both, both an intellectual and emotional level, that business has the potential to enrich millions to even billions of lives. Toro University Worldwide has given each of you a solid foundation to build upon and from which to grow from. However, in a sense, your education has just begun. 
Because out here in the real world, in the working world, you will continue to grow, learn, acquire a broad range of skills, and go through a wide range of experiences, some good, some bad. You're going to win some, and you're going to lose some. And when you fail, it's going to hurt a little, maybe even a lot. But ask anyone who has found some measure of success, and almost every one of them will tell you it was those failures where they learned the most valuable lessons. So start with a mindset of being your best version of yourself. Don't be reasonable, be curious. Take risk, bet big, and never, bet, never be afraid to put it all on the line. Like Mark Zuckerberg once said, the biggest risk is not taking any risk at all. If you're planning to be an entrepreneur or business owner, find a way to differentiate your product or service from the others in the marketplace while adding value to the lifestyle of your customers. Do that and you'll have the edge over your competitors. Look for what's wrong in your industry and find ways to improve upon it. This will make you a disruptor. Graduates, this is your time. Do your part to change the course of history, like Apple, Disney, and Toro University Worldwide has done. Always be honest with yourself and ask the hard questions. Is, if your idea doesn't wow you, how will it wow your customers? It's not always going to be what you do, but how you actually make the customer feel. And remember, you can't compete in today's economy with yesterday's ideas. Relevance always wins in today's marketplace. Your biggest asset will be your brand. And that brand means something more to people, culture, and society. The board of advisors don't run the company. The brand experience does. Breathe life into your brand by considering these three points. Strategy, where are you and where do you want to go? Execution, how are you planning to get there? And management, what is the most efficient and effective systems for sustainability and growth? If you get these three things right, you're more than halfway there. For those, of the, for those who are planning to be a CEO, focus on fulfilling your potential as a thought leader and an influencer. Focus on a legacy you'd like to leave behind and a difference you can make in the lives of others by being an agent of change. You can absolutely make a difference in people's lives by ins inspiring and empowering your staff and strategic partners. Whenever possible, use the media to reinforce your brand vision, philosophy, value, and promise. To fulfill on your vision and purpose, let your passion be your fuel. Stay flexible so you can pivot when you need to, and most of all, be relentless to pursue your greatness. As a businessman, I tend to look at life through a prism of business strategy and branding. If you stop and think about it, branding is all around us. Whether you're planning to be an entrepreneur, CEO, or an employee of a company, it's all about adding value to that brand. This doesn't just apply to companies, products, and celebrities. Branding applies to everyone, from your doctor, to the lawyer, to your landscaper, to the kid making you a non-fat latte at the coffee shop down the street. Each of us, in, a, in our own way, is our brand representing a bigger image. Each of us has a voice, a style, a purpose, and a unique identity. So to make the most of your brand, whether the brand is you, a product, a service, a company, or whatever, I advise these, three, these things in mind. Since your single most valuable asset is your brand, make it compelling, 
engaging, and inspiring. Don't be a wallflower. Do what you must do to stand out. Be consistent so people will know and what you do and what you stand for. If you're talking about a product or company, not only is it essential for the brand to be consistent, but find a way to highlight how it differs from others and why it's relevant and vital to the customer, society, and perhaps even generations to come. Focus on, a, on the benefits of your product and service and find a way to give it more worth. And do it with this passion and do it with excellence. Be persistent. It's normal to have doubts and setbacks, but shake them off and keep going. Keep your eye on the prize, but be present on the process and enjoy the journey. Success is a combination of value in yourself and providing value for others. And speaking of success, when you're winning, stay humble. Be grateful for what you have and what you've achieved, but don't forget those who've helped you along the way. Find a way to give back. Be a job creator. Support the growth of the economy. Mentor someone or get involved with charity work. The important thing here is to give back in whatever way you can. Remember, each of us has the power to bring an idea to fruition and make a positive impact on the world around us. Find a way to make a difference in society, in the economy, and the lives of people. Success is different things for different people. How I define it is based on how many lives I've touched with brands I've designed and built over the years. Each of you can make your mark in society and push humanity forward. Do what you love and your work won't feel like work. It will feel like fuel for your soul. And if you can't do what you love, try and love what you do. A change of perspective can work wonders. Like I said, the best way to predict the future is to create it. Your life is both a work of art and a work in progress. And you come into this world with nothing and you leave with nothing. What you do in between and leave behind or what matters. So ask yourself the question, how do I want to live? Peace, love, and best luck to everyone here.